So, okay. Hello, Internet. My name is Mac. I'm Aaron. And we are Hello Tomorrow Films. We're a wedding and corporate video studio based in Vancouver, Canada. And we're gonna walk you through our gear today. This is the typical gear kit we use on any given wedding shoot. Gear isn't everything. You could shoot a wedding on an iPhone, but we like these yeah. products. This is what we use. That being said, gear's fun. So we're gonna talk about it. It's fun. It's really fun for you. Yeah, I love it. I like, like it. So what you see in front of us are the cameras and lenses we use for any given wedding shoot. Ah. For us, cameras need to get out of the way. We don't want to be thinking about this button or that button or this knob or that knob. We want to know our cameras so well that we are just able to focus on what we're doing, what we're shooting, what we're capturing. It's also really important for us um, to be as unobtrusive as possible on a wedding day. Um, and so having the really small cameras um, really helps. Weddings happen so fast and how we shoot is we're so unobtrusive, we actually don't dictate anything on the day. We let the day unfold as if we weren't there. So to have cameras that we know well enough and small enough that we can move quickly, um, that is key to be able to capture what we need to capture to create the film. The main shooter that we shoot most of the day on is this guy, the C100. Um, we love this camera. We love that it's the cinema line from Canon, so uh, it's really got features made for video. It's a 4K Super 35 sensor. Um, but it down samples internally and outputs a beautiful 1080p image. Uh, amazing dynamic range, great in low light, um, but the part I think I personally love most about it is the ergonomics and the size. It's quite small for a cinema line camera. Um, and the internal ND filters. There's a little mm. wheel here. If you're changing your lighting scenario, say you're going outside and all of a sudden it's super bright, and this, you know, just throws a little uh, sunglasses on your uh, image. So cute. Darkens it up a bit. <laughs> Anyway, I, I love this camera. My favorite thing about the camera is remember when we first got it, we were switching from DSLRs at the time, and I always struggled with the DSLR. It was it was great and fine, but I just found it wasn't very intuitive. Yeah. And, and then we got this, and Mac was all worried. He's like, Aaron, we got to practice. You got to you have to learn how to use this before this wedding day because he'd played with it for fun. I had not done that yet. <laughs> so um, so we get it out, and like immediately, I was like, oh, so easy to use. So easy. Like record is here. <laughs> It bah. just, the little thing, if there, everything is where you, you think that it should be even yes. without knowing where you think something should be. Like, it's just so easy to use. You can operate it, without looking. I swear looking. it took me 15 minutes to learn how to use this thing and now I'm a way better cinematographer. Yeah. The other thing that is a huge benefit for the run and gun kind of way that we shoot is the battery lasts a million years. You, we rarely need to change it in a day. Yeah. And there's two, um, two SD card slots. And um, we almost never, well, I really need to go onto my second card. You sometimes do. I do, I shoot probably a little more than you do, which is bad, but, or not bad, but I'm I just, do. You know? I just really think about my shots and you just shoot, no, I'm just kidding. Anyway, Whoa. but it's, it's awesome. Like I remember again with the DSLRs, having to carry around a butt ton of like batteries and cards and oh stuff. And you're like, shoot, I'm not gonna make it. I gotta change it. Anyways, that doesn't, that problem doesn't exist with this camera. It's great. You should buy it, do it. Big fat fans. <laughs> Good, yeah, great, great cameras. But the one downside of these cameras is uh, there's no slow motion. Mm -hmm. um, there's only 24p or 24 frames per second, and um, which is great, but sometimes you wanna have that slow motion option. So enter this little guy, yeah. the Sony A7S. Um, not as intuitive. Not as intuitive, you know, don't love the button layouts. Uh, the image is great, it's a full frame sensor, which is fun to be able to play with. Um, even though we're really in love with the Super 35 look. Um, we really, really like it for run and gun stuff because it's so small. Um, it's actually decent with being handheld if you really need to, especially mm -hmm. in slow motion. And super handy for sneaking in places you're not supposed to go that we never do. No, and we do not condone it. But hypothetically, if you're in, say, a restaurant and they're not thrilled with having a camera crew in there, um, you know, you just bring this and you're like, hey, I'm just, I'm from out of town and just wanted to get some shots. And we and perpetually look like tourists. Battery life on this camera, not that great. You gotta switch pretty quick, but the full frame sensor is super fun to play with, although we do like the Super 35 look a great deal. The color's not our favorite. The color's not great. We're, Canon colors are tough to beat. Mm -hmm. Sony colors, they're getting there. It just needs a little more love in post. That's right, a little more love in post. Because we love post. Because we're cool editors. No. <laughs> One of the great advantages of having a camera this size is uh, putting it onto a gimbal. Um, we'll get into gimbals later, but this is a perfect camera for that. 
We also recently picked up a Canon C200, which we're super jazzed to use for weddings, but haven't yet. We've only used it for a corporate shoot. Yes. And it was amazing. Yeah, beautiful image. Yeah. Love the 4K option, the raw option, mm -hmm. but we'll do a more in-depth video about that later down the line. So stay tuned for that. Like and subscribe. No, uh, you can't say that. We're YouTubers now, Aaron. We're not. No, we're not. We're full-time we YouTubers. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing makeup tutorials, right? Oh, I'm doing a total influencer slash makeup guru. <laughs> no. That's not to bash YouTubers, we just feel weird I doing love it, this. we just don't belong I here. Kind of wish I could be a YouTuber. Maybe you will be one day. Next in our gear arsenal are our lenses. Um, we're big fat fans of Canon glass, um, but we do have the odd non-Canon L-series lens, yes. such as the Tequina. 11 to 16, good for getting real wide room shots or embellishing certain moments because with this, uh, the super 35 mil sensor of the C100, you need a little wider glass because of the crop. Um, but the lenses we shoot on mostly, like Aaron said, are the Canon uh, L-series prime lenses. The 24, 35, 50, 135. Uh, the main reason we like shooting on primes over having the convenience of a zoom is um, the image quality is kind of tough to beat with a prime lens, mm -hmm. uh, particularly the bokeh. Give me that bokeh. The be <laughs> Give me that bokeh. Uh, the ability to shoot uh, having an f1.2 aperture with the 50 mil lens, to have that option when you're in a dark reception, mm -hmm. really with any of these lenses, Incredible. Combined with how good these are in low light, and this guy in low light, by the way, amazing. Amazing. You can creep on anybody in the pitch black <laughs> with this camera. <laughs> We've tried. No. <laughs> so, Aaron, what's your favorite lens? It's really hard to choose just one. The 85 <laughs> is my most favorite. Never used it, don't own it, but still. Really want to get it. Canon, really if you're watching, send us one. Yep. Besides the 85 that I don't own, I really like the 50. Everything looks pretty in a 50. It's so nice. Like, I just. Any shot you take, you see it with your eyes, you're like, that looks nice. You put it on the 50, you're like, that looks nice. <laughs> hey, McLean, uh -huh. what's your favorite lens? <laughs> My favorite is this guy, the 24. So with the super 35 crop, it's about a 35 uh, mil full frame equivalent. Um, I just like it. You get up in people's face, it's a really interesting vantage point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you look so bad. <laughs> I was thinking about what I wish I had said about this lens. <laughs> Can we do my We're keeping this again? in. <laughs> I just think the focal length is really cinematic and it's a beautiful image. So this is the main shooting setup we bring with us for every wedding. And uh, these lenses, usually we'll have two or three on us at any given moment. And we put them in these guys. Oh, the Onas. These are uh, the poor Ona. color choice that they made. <laughs> Ona Brixton bags, Aaron's not happy with I her. want this one and Mac never lets me use it because he says he needs more style points. I need help in the cool department. Aaron needs no help. I need a lot of help. I'm a mom now. I need a lot. <laughs> but these are great. These, uh, you know, they fit about four. Yeah, four. Uh, there's four lens slots in there. Or three lenses and a water bottle and some <laughs> snacks. So yeah, these are great. These are great. That's all great. Everything's great. Next up, drones. So this is it. This tiny little thing is the drone we bring with us to every wedding. It just unfolds um, and you're good to go. Take this little lens cover off. Yeah, it's so cute and so small and so easy to use. Um, our last uh, our last drone was the Phantom 4, which was a lot larger. I always thought it looked like we were carrying around a bomb. It this worked yeah. and it was, you know, for the time it was like, wow, this is great. We can get such an amazing image out of this. Yeah. But when this came along, we're like, oh, that's, of course, yep. that's what we have to have. Great, love it. You should get one. Just do it. So audio plays a really big part in storytelling for us. And so it's really important to us that we get as perfect of audio as we possibly can. Yes. Kind of feel like nothing really pulls you out of a story faster than poor audio. Very true. So this is a stripped down version of what we bring to every wedding. Um, so your standard Zoom H4n. This is Old Faithful. It's great for plugging into DJ boards. You got XLR and quarter inch inputs. Uh, you can get an RCA input uh, to mini jack and all that. It's great, standard. To be honest, we don't rely on it too much. It's usually a backup for us. There's just always a chance of not getting perfect audio from it, and so we're wary. You know, you don't know every DJ's exact setup and you can't monitor it, so that's that. Um, so to combat that, we use these little guys. This is the Olympus. I don't remember the model number, so 
Ah, okay. There. Um, we we carry a few of these with us to every wedding. We use it for kind of every part of the day. Yeah. Um, so once I see we paperback films recommended this to us. Yeah. Too. Shout out to paperback films. Okay. They referred or uh, recommended these exact. Uh, mics and labs for mm -hmm. us and they've served us so well. Yeah. We actually probably should pick up a few more. They're perfect. Yeah. Yeah. And we... they're small people aren't offended by putting them in their pocket or like anything else. I think guys used to feel like, no, I got my vows in there, I got my phone in there, I can't add anything. Like, oh that sure, no problem. Yeah. Same for brides, like you said when you mic up brides in the morning, mm -hmm. you can slip it on their leg. Uh, we have this little strap that we'll include. Yeah. Um it works for most dresses. Yes. Not all the dresses. Yes. Most of the audio you'll hear from uh, in our films comes from this guy. Uh, paired with this guy. Yeah, this is the something something lavalier lavalier microphone. Look how small it is. It's so. Can you see that? See, that's what the makeup um, makeup YouTube people do. Oh. Can you see that? I'm learning. Yeah, it's yeah, it's um just so tiny, and you can put a little fluff ball head on it if you want to. You can yep. put stickers on so it. That's if the you technical want to. term. I don't know if you knew that. Fluff ball head. Fluff ball head. Stickers or clippy. Ah. <laughs> but more often than not, we will use. These guys, these little stickies, rye coat covers. Yep. Um, paired with these little felt, felt little uh, circle deals. Yeah, yeah. Technical <laughs> term. Yeah, yeah. So peel it off the paper. You stick your um, your little teeny tiny needle mic head there. Fluffy. And then you just peel off the sticker on the back and you can stick it anywhere you want. You can stick it under, your, yeah. on your clothes, under your clothes. Yeah. Um, the felt really helps reduce um, any fabric noise. And it doesn't take it away completely, but it's pretty, no. pretty good. You'll still want to mount it in a place where you're going to get the least amount of fabric yeah. uh, rubbing. Um, but Here, that... you wear it. Well, it would go on the inside. And look how, you know. You can't even see the cord. Incognito. <laughs> But yeah, these are great. We use these a ton. All the time. And then for on-camera audio, we use the Rode Video Mic Pro, Old Faithful. Mm -hmm. Just uh, mainly to get, you know, backup scratch audio. Um, yeah. Good for syncing later with your dual systems audio. And that's it for audio. Next up, everyone's favorite topic, support gear. Oh, tripods? Yeah. So first up, gimbals. These kind of are from two different camps. This is, you know, no electronics. This has got motors and electronics uh, helping control and balance. Um, we've we've used this for a super long time, like since we started, like way back in the day, mm -hmm. and it served us uh, super super well. And then when these came out, actually first we picked up the Ronin, oh, the Ronin M. So pretty. Great gimbal, does a perfect job. Of, well, pretty good job of stabilizing but it's just, it's so big. And it has to rest on a stand. So yeah. trying to set that up and move it around on the wedding day, near impossible. Not great. But these are small. So yeah, when these came out, we were like, oh, this looks like a great solution. And it's got its pros and cons. This takes a few minutes to balance and it's a bit finicky. So this is great. This, I just leave balanced. I just have to tweak it before I do my shot. Mm -hmm. And then it's, you know, Bob's your uncle. Um, another great thing about this is the battery life uh, of this guy is like I've never had to, never had to worry about it. It goes all day. This obviously too because mm, there's no batteries. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so these are great um, for getting those movement shots. Mm -hmm. Next up, monopods. Monopods, my least favorite and most favorite piece of equipment uh, at a wedding. Least favorite because you kind of look goofy when you're using it. Kind of you look like Gandalf from Lord of the Rings. You do which like I'm okay with. We're, we're on these probably what, 90% of the day? Um, yep, yeah, me like 95. Yeah. yeah, because this is the Manfrotto model number here. Awesome. I don't remember. It's got these little feet, so it really helps for stabilizing your shots. You yeah. can even lock it if you want. Really, really great tool but not that fun to talk about because it just does its job well and we use it a lot and it's great. So for tripods, we are using our primary tripod right now, mm -hmm. but again, I will put the model type up here. It's a Manfrotto something or other. It's a beautiful carbon fiber tripod for speeches. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. We have two tripods, the one we're shooting on. We have a smaller one that I'm just too lazy to go get. We shoot speeches most of the time on tripods. Uh, we'll have, you know, uh, an angle on the speech giver. We'll have an angle on the bride and groom reacting, and that camera will also pan around to guests and get them reacting. Mm -hmm. Perfect, but kind of boring to talk about. They're tripods. They hold the camera steady. Big whoop. But they're necessary. So that's it. We hope this was helpful, uh, showing you all of the gear we use for wedding shoots. Um, if you have any questions, 
Let us know in the comments oh, below. Dear. Or you can message us on Instagram at hello tmrw. That's. Or you but do we do want you to like and subscribe? We're gonna do, be doing more of these videos, uh, some tutorials on uh, various steps of the wedding filmmaking process. So mm -hmm. if you want to see something specific, be sure to get in touch with us and let us know what that is. Yes. But that's it for now. Thanks for uh, or like watching. If you want me to do a makeup tutorial, like I totally could. Yeah. But if you like this video, <laughs> what's 100 likes on this video, Aaron will do a no, makeup tutorial. Oh gosh, no, no, Let's no, 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 no. do it. No, not happening. Not, no. That is not enough. Uh, try it anyway. That is not, no. Bye. No. Hello, I'm Aaron. And I am McLean. And, and again, I don't like what I am doing <laughs> with my hands. <laughs>